Hello, I'm Raluca, and welcome to the AWS Certified Developer Associate course by Pact Publishing. I am a certified AWS developer and solutions architect. I have several years of experience architecting and implementing solutions on AWS, and I specialize in serverless and microservices applications. This course is designed to prepare you for the AWS Certified Developer Associate exam and contains a summary of all the content required along with tips, hints, and more sample questions. This video provides you with a glimpse of the entire course. In Section 1, we will have an IAM, EC2, and S3 exam prep, where we will recap IAM, EC2, S3, Elastic Load Balancers, and CloudFront. In Section 2, we will have a DynamoDB, DNS, and Application Services exam prep, where we will review DynamoDB, Route 53, SQS, SNS, SWF, as well as CloudFormation and Elastic Beanstalk with additional tips and tricks. In Section 3, we will have a VPC's exam prep, where we will recap how to build our own custom VPC, as well as NAT and Bastion hosts, access control lists, and flow logs. In Section 4, we will have a final exam prep and tips, after which we will be concluding the course. The course is geared towards application developers and architects who are looking to start developing or architecting applications on Amazon Web Services, as well as individuals and professionals who are preparing for the AWS Certified Developer Associate exam. Some prerequisites for this course, you will need a computer that has Mac, Linux, or Windows installed. We're going to go and set up a new AWS free tier account, but you will have to register for one to be able to complete the course. You don't need to have an extensive background in programming, but it would be beneficial if you had some as well as if you had a bit of Linux experience beforehand, but that is not completely necessary as we will see during the course. By doing this course, you will have a good understanding of IAM, S3, and EC2. You will understand the workflow of DynamoDB, CloudFormation, Elastic Beanstalk, SQS, SNS, and SWF. You will be familiar with VPCs, NATs, and Bastions and you will have a good understanding of what to expect going into the exam, as well as final tips to prepare you better for the exam. At the end of this course, you'll feel confident that you have a good understanding of what certified developers need to know by summarizing the contents and adding additional exam tips from the previous courses.